Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are playing, uh, this deck was dubbed Infinity Gauntlet by Isaac, who has submitted it for another deck critique that we're going to do here. Um, this deck is, look, it looks sweet. Modern is a pretty, pretty, uh, aggressive format, so I'm not sure how well we're going to do. We're going to find out, but I, I like the, th I like to think we're going to have a good time on the way there. Uh, the basic goal is playing a Fist of Suns, preferably on turn two with Birds of Paradise. You got Welding Jars to keep it alive, Pentad Prisms to help with the five colors here. And um, basically what you want to do is then cast Omniscience, Kozilek, Ugin. Um, Mastermind's acquisition is a little slow because you kind of basically want to cast those for free off Omniscience and then cast whatever you get for free as well. Uh, Kozilek will draw you infinite cards, which you could just empty your hand with Ancient Stirrings, Thoughtseize, Fatal Pushes, what have you. Um, this is definitely a combo deck. I'm afraid of the fragility of it and being able to amass like five mana, being able to get this down quick enough. Being able to cast omniscience afterwards, but uh, I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. Also, Jace is interesting because you can go get Enter the Infinite, and then play Jace, and then just try to draw a card and win the game. That is, I think that's the goal with Masterminds Acquisition and Fae Wishes. I think we have two trophy made just to find the Fist of Suns. You also have Ancient Stirrings, which is pretty good. At it. Yeah, I pretty much it's everything from Welding Jar to Fist of Suns to <clears throat> Tad Prism. So, I feel like you're gonna need to include a, a fourth thought season in this deck just off the bat, but. Well, Michael, you know what they say. Or an extra Inquisition or something. Thought sees the sneeze. Got him. Let's get him. Also, I have some Mike and Ikes here, guys. That I'm gonna... That I'm gonna partake of on this. Hunter done ruined the... Illusion. Hunter didn't ruin anything, Michael. He's a saint. Isn't that right, my handsome gentleman? He's right down here. You smell the Mike and Ikes? You smell this? Yeah, you do. All right, I'm game. So I'll keep it. you want? Mm. Five mana? Yeah. Two more mana sounds good. Let's go get a green source, my dude. Also, Spire of Industry is nice because it uh, turns on, it was turned on by Welding Jar. I guess we'll just get Temple Garden. Turn two Fist of the Suns is interesting. Ooh, they didn't lightning bolt our gentleman. Okay, well, I wish we could discard one of those for a land. That'd be cool. Make sure you drink from... I mean, I don't have a cup. I just have a bottle. So if Mike even puts his hand on this, I'll actually murder his family. <laughs> I'll make sure he watches, and then he'll be next. Is that dark? I don't know, maybe. Probably. I'm always turned on by welding jar. Jesus Christ. <laughs> just stop it. Mike is is fading into the abyss. Okay, they just. I was like, why is it uh, still my turn? It took him that long to just fetch for a steam vents, huh? Okay. Okay. Okay, Ming. Oh god, here we go. They're gonna kill my bird now because they're like, you getting to five mana? It's no boy now. You ready? Goblin lore. Oh yeah, look at all by. Okay, none of these cards. Oh, all right, sure. How many hollow ones you got in your hand now? Let's find out. Up oh, two. Sounds good. Just two? <laughs> Amateur hour. Okay, let's find a, let's find a manus, a manus. Let's just cast it normally. Um, I guess a swamp is fine, right? Any order. I'll just play a second fist. 
King Kong just got a card too on the spoilers. What? Oh my god, please. This is too much, man. So I post that spoiler. I love it, dude. He's a devil. Where are the turtles? It's been opened. Yeah, it was mine. What's missing? The turtles. Where are the Summer turtles? Sausage. Where are the turtles? Come on, guys, get out of here. Where are the turtles? <laughs> it's my favorite scene, dude. You uh, say that about every scene. It's a good show, okay? Oh, there's a link. Oh, God, yes. Oh, the Titan Ape. God, this set is like... The set is just living up to everything I've ever wanted in a magic set. Oh, my God, look at it. This isn't the King Kong version. But I could definitely see how the alternate art would be. 7-6 six for 6. When Co Kogla, the Titan Ape, enters the battlefield, it fights up to one creature you don't control. That's pretty good. Whenever it attacks, it's for an artifact or enchantment defending play. Jesus Christ, this is amazing. Two mana, return a human you control to its owner's hand. It gains indestructible. That seems great. It's not even like a Trigon Predator where you have to like... I think we're dead. Any reason why this deck isn't playing the land Cascading Cataracts or something like that? I don't know what that is. Um, Because it costs six mana. I mean, this is going to be rough. I guess we can get an island here, right? Yeah, island is fine. Let's cast with Fist of the Suns. Blue, black, white, green. I guess we're doing a red here. We're going to seven. No, we just did. Well, mm, yeah, but <laughs> but we had a good time doing it, right? We block here. We take four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm -hmm. Can we do anything about that, you think? <coughs> Not currently. What does this guy do? Discard a card, counter a spell. Okay, well, if we had Omniscience to the Kozlik there, I think we would have been fine because then we could have actually played the the, the, the Kozlik. Actually, Fatal Push isn't even great against stupid hollow ones, unfortunately. Because the CMC is over. Yeah, it's a five boy. Yeah. Thought C. Sounds good. All right, this seems fine. What'd you bring? I brought in two Supreme Verdicts and a Thought Seize, Michael. Seems good. I thought it was five to activate. What's five to activate? Um, is it five? Yeah, but you're tapping it as well, so that's six mana. Yeah, you have to tap six, including it. Right. I mean, I'd rather just play five lands that, at, that tap for things and then just do it that way. Plus, I think it only taps for colorless, right? So, like... Yeah, unless you use its other ability. Push it to the limit. Do, 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 do. Why are your legs so far apart, man? You're like... Hmm? Why your legs so far apart? You're like, I'm just sitting like this. <laughs> no problem is. I don't know, man. It's just weird. Why are you weird? Why is that weird? Because it's really wide. It's excessively wide. That's why. It's just comfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that doesn't... You asked me why it was weird, so I'm telling you. I measured, and I don't like the the length of your legs. It's not about the length of your legs, Michael. We're a hollow one. Because they have Cathar Green and Goblin. Goblin boy. Yeah, if that card was just four, tap it to make five colors, that card would be insane. Yeah, if it cost... If you, if you had to tap five lands to produce five of any color, like, that's that's just very good. That's just good value. Let's get a green source. Please have a green source. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we have Fist and Omniscience here, which is nice. Wow, double fists? Jeez. Not a single well, land. They kill it. Well, I, you know, I have a feeling they won't. You don't know. I know. I feel like if Mike is, uh, is spreading his legs wide enough to like... Oh wow, they hit double. Oh, they discarded double conscription. Sure. How, what's the trick here? What are they trying? How are they getting this back, or how are they getting this into play? I don't know, man. Okay, double another omniscience, huh? All right. Father needs two lands. We have four pentad prisms, right? Like, I, I want to so. go turn two pentad prism, turn three fist of suns. It's just not happening. I'm also going to close these other matches that exist. I'm just trying to push it to the limit here, guys. 
Storm Herald? Oh. Are they just going to Storm Herald here and put the equipment on it? and then Because that seems pretty sweet. That's exciting if that's what they're doing. My god, this deck is... And Smokey Logie figured it out. I think mine's because he has chicken nugs taped to the inside of his thighs and needs to air them for them to rain fresh. Wow. Wow, that's wild. That's precisely what they're doing. This is a Saffron Olive build. I don't understand the amount of builds Saffron Olive puts out. Like, they kind of... I don't... Like, it just seems excessive. Um, let's get Forest here. Any order. Forest. Fists number two. Fist them again. All right, so if we can hit any land here, I think we actually can win. That's my that's my theory. If they don't kill us right now, if we hit a land... Yeah, you go... You go Omniscience, Kozilek, draw a bunch of cards. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Maybe. I don't even know what's going on. They got five cards in hand. We drew pretty well off that. We drew our fifth land, and... Oh, God, we're dead. Okay, no. Burning Inquiry still. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, Burning Inquiry is pretty annoying. Well, that sucks. Yep, that's... Pretty bad. That's annoying. Unfortunately, Omniscience is not a blue card or a colorless card, unless you're Alex Bertoncini. <laughs> then you can get whatever you want with it. Sorry, guys, it's my first time playing it. I, I, I'm not used to. I'm not. I don't know what Ancient Stirrings does. Oh, Shattering Spree, really? And this is then I get punished for playing both. Wow, that's in fucking incredible. Cool. Of course. First, first Ancient Stirring hits two five fists. Second one hits none. Love it. Can we get a basic with this? Yeah, I'll get a planes. Blue. Go to six. Hope I don't die. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we draw Fist of the Suns, probably doesn't matter because we only have Mastermind's acquisition. So now we need like multiple pieces of the combo, so. Got a fifth Fist of the Suns in the board? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> good times, man. That's amazing. Oh, good fucking please go buy lottery tickets. Okay, cool. So uh, I don't feel like that was an adequate representation of the deck because. Our opponent was likely the luckiest person who's ever walked the earth. But uh, I guess we'll see if we can do a little better Keep this Keep in mind, time. you got those cards randomly, too. Well, they seemed random to me, man. Totally. Well, I mean, you played Burning Inquiry. You literally get random cards from it. Well, you know, your draw step's random, too. Whatever, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna be a hater, man. I'll keep this. This is the same opponent. Is it really? I didn't know. I mean, I should have probably waited because I just hate playing against the same person, especially when their deck is trash, but... Uh, let's get rid of Goblin Lore. Your hand sucks without Goblin Lore. Okay, cool. You're the same opponent. That's true. It's all true. Yep, figured. Yeah, I, I, I had no confidence that I was going to draw land there, so... Yep. Nice. Is a 3 2? I guess it's a 3 2 haste. Sure. 
people. Good times. I'm having a fun time. <laughs> Magic Online is really making this. Oh, yeah. No land. How about next? Nope. Still nothing. Oh, yeah. Wow. No, it's all coming together. Oh, wow. Look at that. 14 cards, guys. 15. Eh? No lands we run? Oh, yeah. The 16th card in our deck was a fucking land, guys. Congratulations to us. 21 lands. I, I think you should still draw a second land before 16 cards. Oh, sure. You know. That is kind of low, though. Call me crazy. Well, Michael Shorty get low, 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 okay? She do. Well, what can you do? This is the hand I've wanted. Okay, we can't play Spire, otherwise we can't Pentad Prism. You can, it's just not good. Give me that one counter on there. Oh, they mulligan to six. How could we lose? <laughs> They're probably going to go to turn one Burning and Kree and play one of the Hollow Ones. And then we're going to lose all of our combo pieces? Yep. I'm waiting. Here it comes. I mean, Spirit Guide. Oh, Burning and Kree is one. Yeah, so all you don't right. even need to. Yep. Yep, here we go. Oh, that's not it. Wow. So you're saying there's a chance. We're doing it. Living that dream. Every day, blue and green. I'm done. All right, next time we get to Fist of the Sun. I'm sure they brought in Shattering Spree and they're just going to kill this, though, so... Yeah, probably. Because that's just how you do. Probably want a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here comes Burning Inquiry. Or maybe they just wait until both of these can attack. That's probably better, right? Who knows, man? Some people know. Oh, I don't. Look at that late-ass bird of paradise. That's a late-ass bird. Oh, God! Uh -huh. Come on, dude. Whatever, I'll just play Fist. I don't care. It still works out. Yeah, that was silly. I mean, we <laughs> lost one counter, but we gained one Bird of Paradise. So, you know. They're Should just getting a bolt. They're, no, they're just getting their second red for uh for their Shattering Spree. Nah, that's probably it. <clears throat> Have you got more fun in this deck to make all the Eldrazi free? Um, no. Eh, that's actually fine, I think. Well, for now it is anyway. And Soren to put more fun into play for free? How does that work? Because Soren can put a vampire into play and more fun's a changeling, so you can just put it into play. Oh, the three mana Soren? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty baller. That sounds crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take 10 here because that's life man that's what life is for uh, that was actually a pretty good draw because now we can keep the bird untapped cast with a fisty boy do 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 blue and a black and a green and a white and a red Gonna play this Kozalik, a Kozalik, Kozalik. Ka -ka if I can, if I can survive one turn. Unfortunately, a lot of the, uh, a lot of cards in our hand are pretty pricey, so I don't think we're gonna be countering anything. But I don't like Spire just because it's like it costs us life. But I don't know if there's a better option. Okay, uh, you and we'll discard fist. Okay, that's actually pretty great. That's that's gonna be game. <laughs> All right, we did it. Maybe it's not game per se, but this guy's got menace. You can't even block him. He's at fourteen. Shoot, you're dead. He, he can block. Who can block? He just double block it. Shh, I gotta do that. I got a Kozilek in play, my dude. 
Okay. 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 Um, let's just play Om Omni Science. <clears throat> how, how do you feel about that? Seems like White, a play. Blue. Cast with fisty boys. Um, three. Green. I think we can go to four here. I'm pretty sure that's safe. Play to land. Cast with omniscience. Cast with omniscience. Uh, sure, we can get another fist. Oh, look at that. Cast with omniscience. And now we're going to attack. And then play the other Kozilek. And then hopefully win the game. We get to draw, what, five cards? You drop to seven? Uh-huh. All right. Draw five Arena. Cast with Omniscience. So many ways to cast it. That's not going to do it. I'll cast with Omniscience. <laughs> oh, cast with Omniscience. <laughs> we literally whiffed. That's hilarious. <coughs> um, I don't think we're thought seizing here. Nah, no reason. Yeah, we'll just pass. They ain't got nothing. Whatever they have, it'll have to be top decked. Close you. We won. Yeah, that's good because we weren't drawing anything good. Man, this game is wild. We were wiling out there. Did you see us wiling out, Michael? I seen it. I don't think he's seen anything. I am so omniscient. If there was two um, um if there was to be two omnisciences, I would be both. Prepare yourselves for the subjugation. What is that from? Is that from a thing? Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Oh, the fisty. Ooh, they went to six. Yeah, you like that, thank wouldn't you? you? Yeah. Murbler, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you. You yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Michael? Okay, you got it. Did they just not hit a second land? Or first land, rather? I guess they did, but... Whatever, man. And they took two? Oh, God, they took four? Draws three, then discards third random. Here we go. Well, there goes the Fist of the Suns and the Bird of Paradise. That would have been good. No hollow ones, though. I guess. I guess that's something. I mean, we don't have anything either. I guess we can go Pentad Prism to Supreme Verdict if they start getting feisty. Let's try to get a basic, too, here in case they go Blood Moon. More like Shit Moon, am I right? Sure. Oh, nothing. All right. Exciting. That's exciting. Um, let's get a forest. I don't feel like Blood Moon coming out. And play Island. And play Welder. And play Prismo. Let's draw a Fist next turn and then crush the, the following turn. Actually, I had a crazy omniscience play the other day. Ended up having my omniscience be a creature with a lightning greaves attached to it. I <laughs> killed my opponent with the enchantment. Huh. Get him, omniscience. Man, omniscience gone wild. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll turn it into a creature. March of Machines, I bet. No, that's not. That's only Starfield of Nyx, Bish. Oh, that would work. That's why I said it. Hmm. 
Sure. Oh, they still get to kill it because they shattering spree. Yep, yeah. that's cool. Well, that's not that's fun. Well, oh fuck! Why did I play this? God, I'm just oh, I hate this format. <laughs> I'm like so frustrated right now, dude. Oh god. Wow, I felt like we were doing really well because they were just discarding nothing and they had no pressure. But then, like, we just literally throw away a, a welding jar and a glimmer void. That's really. I am clearly not. Oh, cool. There you go. Okay, one seems fine. I don't like the mana base so far. Yeah, it seems rough. It does seem rough. The MTG card Space God Void Invader had a different name. Yeah, the, the initial name was uh, Death Corona. Yeah, it's. I mean, I think it's a good move to, to change the name. Like, there's just no reason for, like, <laughs> for people to, like, Play, be playing with the card called with, with the name Death Corona. Like, it's just not ideal. But the Edgelords. The Edgelords are going to be like, way to go, Snowflakes. And it's like, okay, but it's just a minimal cost for being considerate to <laughs> someone's feelings. I don't understand why that's a bad thing. You're not allowed to have feelings, Frank. Feelings are bad. I don't get to say what I want. Stop censoring me. Okay. You know, if that's... uh. Okay, three omnisciences. We've drawn as many omnisciences as we have lands. Twenty one to four. We also can never cast these supreme verdicts. Yeah. So I think our window in this game is long gone. Well, we can take seven. We play a white source. We take another seven, go to one, play another white source, presuming both come into play untapped for zero life. And uh then yeah, we're got good. Him. How dare you consider someone's feelings? I know, I know. Also, it's the only person who ever says that are the people that like are unloved no i was just gonna say the people that have the privilege to be like that it's never right it's never like africans Amer african americans it's never like uh lgbtq people it's never like it's always like white edge lords who yeah. like like don't actually like it's so funny it's so funny it's it's dudes who go through life and their biggest problem is that someone told them not to say a certain thing that's, that's their only problem. Basically. Yeah, that's the that's that's like their biggest issue. Oh man, this hand could use a show and tell. Oh, hey, there's a white source. We're half halfway the, there. Half the plan is coming together, boys. Oh, we're dead. That thing is haste. <laughs> we're halfway there. Yeah, I I think we're gonna have to look at this mana base for a second. It seems rough. I love glimmer. I love glimmer void. There's only two glimmer voids. I guess that's fine. There's also one of every basic, which is fine. I also just think we want more lands. Like, we want to be able to hit these guys for sure. Oh, here we go. Love it. Oh, yeah, Magic Online. You never did this before. This is a nice little feature you're adding. Mm -hmm. Again, I think Noble Hierarch is a good choice here. Like, this is a deck where you, like, you want to be able to play it on turn two, right? Yeah, you want to get. I think you want to play four of them. Uh, where where are you gonna make the room for that? <coughs> mm, good point. Um, just cut through the fatal pushes. Who needs removal? I actually agree with that. Like, I don't think you have. I don't think you have time to care about their thing. We're like a dedicated combo deck. But I also think I want to more add more land. So I don't think we're going to four here. I think six is fine. 
Like, is Spire of Industry just worse than, like, Mana Confluence? Because you definitely want colors, and when you're using it for colors, you're definitely going to take damage. So I almost think Mana Confluence is just better. I think it's just strictly better. It's not strictly. Like, if you're going to play something, if you're going to play Fist of Suns on turn three, you're not taking damage. That seems so... <laughs> that seems so... <laughs> but the thing is, like, if you have a Fist of Suns, this is going to make colored mana, and if you don't have a Fist of Suns, you probably don't need colored mana. So I'm just actually... I'm, I'm going to add two. I also don't love Glimmer Void, where you have to have one of these. I'm going to put three and three. Let's just do three and three with no Glimmer Voids. Oh, what about Reflecting Pool? Actually, I think Reflecting Pool is OP right here. Wait. If you don't have an artifact and you have Spire of Industry, can you can you add three? Can you add any color with Reflecting Pool? Because this can produce it, Maybe. you just can't activate the ability. If so, I would definitely err towards Spire here. And we're adding one more. I'm just going to play four Reflecting Pools because we have Fae, so many. it's slow. I can see that. Fae of Weishes. Well, so is Kozilek, though. The point of Fey is not because you're going to cast it during the game. You're going to cast it after you have Omniscience to create a sideboard piece. Thank you. Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Um, because it's three mana and, like, you just want to play Fist of Suns on three. Oh, what up, Vili? Good seeing you, bro. What up? What up? <coughs> We should probably play uh, eight ancient stirrings. I think that's good. Hold on one second. As long as land can produce a color as at any point, the color the pools can produce it too. Yeah, reflecting pool seems great in this. Oh fucking gods, please stop! Oh my god, please fix it. I feel like I'm gonna have an absolute nervous, actual fucking nervous breakdown at this stupid like bug. Please fix this. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm like losing my mind with this stupid bug, dude. Do you want a fourth thought? I really wanna play. I'm gonna play one more noble hierarch. I like that. So four, five. I don't like I don't like Spire because it actually doesn't let you play Noble Hierarch on turn one without a welding jar. Let's put Confluence in instead. That's a good point. Oh, Mystic Confluence. Let's play that instead. Yeah. All right. So we're going deeper on the combo here. Let's see if that does anything. You're already pretty all in anyway. Thank you. Well, this has one of your pieces. Fenner is. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, this seems good. Turn one double hierarchy, turn two. Fist of the Suns. All right, Horizon Canopy doesn't seem scary unless it's a bogle. Unless it's a bogle. Uh, City of Brass is better than Spires, but Mana Confluence is better than City. So, uh, Mana Confluence, the, the, the losing life is part of the cost. City of Brass, you lose life every time it's tapped. So. How noble. So much for that. We can still play Pentad Prism. Yeah. Actually, do we get to play Pentad Prism with three Sunburst counters? Yeah. Oh, that's real sweet. Well, no, because you have to pay one. Oh, uh, but it's still you're still paying it with colored mana. 
Well, Pins of Prism only costs two, though. Right, but it's making you pay three. And you're using three colored mana, and that's how Sunburst works. Sunburst oh. gives you counters for the amount of colored mana you spend. That's interesting. That's fucking interesting, man. They just ramped us. They did. Sucker. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're going to kill me. I fucking I hate Leon and Arbor so much, dude. And I really wish I played the Heaths now. <laughs> oh, wow, another reflecting pool. Oh, wow. It's just fist. Can you paint with all the colors of your chin? I mean, most people can. I don't know why you'd think they couldn't. All right. Don't play don't play Night of Autumn targeting my Fist of the Suns. We're doing it. Oh, we still have to draw something fat. Draw? Yeah. Yeah, but I'd rather not have I'd rather draw something fat and have Fist of the Suns than draw fat, some fat and have no Fist of the Suns. That's not it's, it is not. I should cast it with Fist of the Suns. Oh, I don't have Black Source. I got to use this Pentad Prism. Shoot. Can you go get one? With what? Oh, yeah, you can't. You have to pay two to I don't search. want to deal with that. Oh, we can just play Mana Confluence. Yeah, and then your pools are turned on. God, I, love a, I love a turned on pool, if you know what I mean. Uh Oh, they did have Night of Autumn. Oh, dang. Also, Flicker was considered a Pentad Prism, but I'd rather... I, we're just going to play another Pentad Prism, so... Um... White, green, blue, penty. All right, next turn. We're looking for a we're looking for a Kozilek. Might be going to one here. From what? We're taking four. They play the double strikey guy. That guy has haste. No, but you give double strike to a two two, and that's four five. It's six, a mirror seven. crusader, not a soul blade paladin. Oh, I thought it was a soul blade paladin. My bad. Unbelievable, this guy. My bad. I guess they'd also need to draw a land for that, even if it was a card that they had in their hand. Hold on one second. Yeah. That's the way Prism works because you're still paying colored mana, so it puts a counter on it. So it's actually kind of like an upgrade. Cause luck. Okie dokie. Ancient stories would have been good too, because then we can find a Kozilek, but instead, it was an old. Like, I feel like the parts are here. Like, we have four ancient stirrings, right? <coughs> like, do we need one more Kozilek? I mean, we could have also played an Ugin if we drew an Ugin. So, like. I'm going to offer an opinion. Uh, yeah. The Masterminds Inquisitions plan? Yeah. It's not needed. Why? How do you win? If I go Omniscience into Kozilek, what am I winning with? I need to go get sideboard cards to win the game. You should win with Kozilek. That doesn't win you game. Like they could just path it, and then you're you have nothing. What if? I guess so. Well, it's yeah, it's not. I mean, what if you play some of those cards in the main deck? I don't know. What? But why? Then, like, how do you get them? You have to draw them. I like guess true. this is just better. You could just go get Supreme Verdict, cast the Supreme Verdict. Like you can, they let you a wrong half kind of deck. I don't know what that means. I disagree. This hand seems fantastic. It's got a consistency issue for sure. Also, like, one, you have to play an artifact, which are fragile. And two, you have to untap with it and get the five mana. It's a lot to ask. Oh, I know you also have one you have to have one of your pieces.
Let's get a breeding pool, I guess. This is where they go. Turn one ghost quarter. No, that doesn't do anything, I guess. Maybe we play Eldamri's Call. Got him. Actually, I mean, it does find Kozilek. Sammy, what's going on? Thanks so much for the 56 months, dude. That's insane. It's a good amount of months. How did I win after game one after getting mana screwed? All your cards cost two mana? I don't know. Like, <laughs> what do you think, man? Oh, jeez. I'm actually just going to play Fist here because we have double uh, double Fists if they want to kill that. That's like a year. That is like a year. Good. How did my Good. proactive creatures beat you when I was able to cast them? I don't understand. Oh, it's Thalia. Oh. Oh. D. Cast. One, two, three. Dunzo and Michael B's Bunzo. My hand was all three drops, though. Well, the creatures on board weren't. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you. Also, the mana sucks here, too. This is very strange. Uh, yeah, all right. Let's get... Let's get a black source, because we don't have that. Good eye. Good eye, mate! Okay, okay. Um, so we can just play Noble Hierarch and other Pentad. Oh, we can... Oh, let's play Omniscience here. That seems good, right? He does expose the Omniscience with no combo pieces, though. He's right. What an old-ass biscuit he is. I'd actually consider not casting it. Well, I'm just going to cast Pentad Prism and Noble Hierarch here. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, real good. Uh, one, two, three... Dunzo. Cast it for Jundi. Are you going to play the RE3? Was RE3 <laughs> getting released too? Yeah. Oh my god, they're just releasing everything. <coughs> Next turn they go... Wait, why didn't they... Oh, because it's Ghost Quarter, not, not Field of Ruin. I was like, why didn't they get a land? I figured it out. They're going to path their own... <laughs> oh man, that's, that's some desperation right there. Rough on the beats. Also, Thalia is kind of rough because Omniscience means we have to actually pay one for all of our... Yep. Thalia is... I hate Thalia. That's annoying. Goodbye, one Pentad Prism. It'll come back. <laughs> It'll be real good when it comes back. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it will come back. I wanted a Kozilek. I got an Omni Science. All right, we're going to add white. Two, three, blue, green, and one. Omni science, it's what we do. Might as well cast the other one. Well, no, it's going to cost one. So Is that worth it? I don't... Yes, because if we have two... Because next turn, if they do destroy this and we have to replay this, it's going to cost five. Right, yeah. It's almost better to cast Field of Suns too. <coughs> Fist of Suns number two as well. Yeah, so now we have backups of everything. Now uh, the old double omniscience go play. <laughs> A classic. Yeah, they're going to have another Flicker Wisp anyway. That was a good play. <coughs> In Kozlik or Masterminds Inquisition? Ah. <sighs> 
No, I'm good. No? Kozilek. <laughs> I mean, it's a blocker. All right. Cast it with Omniscience. It's one less fist in our deck. Well, we got blockers. We got one more turn, theoretically. <laughs> That guy's going to give somebody a double strike. That's what Mike said earlier. Wish one of these guys had one toughness, then we can double block, but... All right, last, last chance for the Kozilek or Ancient Stirrings, guys. But they did have one toughness. Or Ugin. Oh, that's... See? This is why we have Mastermind's Acquisition, you dumb... I don't know why you didn't block with a Noble. Because I want all the mana I can get, because my Omniscience... Why would I need a 2-2? Well, um, omniscience means every spell costs one mana. Well, but then you kill the Thalia, so you're... With a what? With a what? How would I kill the Thalia? You block with the Treasure Mage and the Noble, making it a 2-3 two, th two, th three toughness. How does that kill Thalia? Because you're dealing 2 to it, and it has 1 they toughness? They kill the 2-2 two, two with First Strike, and then we have an O Oh, ones. yeah, yeah. Do you know how blind... Is... <laughs> you've been playing Magic for I like... I about First Strike. Even if it doesn't have first strike, like we can still just block with treasure trophy mage. Then, this is not needed whatsoever. Ah, <laughs> this is very weird. Like what? <laughs> oh god, oh god! Search library for a card put in your hand. Choose a card you own from outside the game. So why does it have four modes? Okay, I don't know if we're getting main deck. <sighs> main deck. Well, look at your sideboard first. You can do that. Well, I can just look at the whole deck. Do that too. Do it all. I don't even care. So we can get a Kozilek, but we could draw a bunch of whiffs. Or we can get uh, Ugin from the main deck. Is Mike drinking? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, so if we get Enter the Infinite, we draw our whole deck, right? Uh-huh. Oh, that's just the play then, right? Seems okay. Then put a card from your hand on top of your library. And then we get Jace. Yeah, that's just the win, right? That's just how the deck works. Uh, you have to have enough for Thalia. Make sure you have enough for that. Yeah, we Mastermind. for Enf Enter the Infinite. Play J play Mastermind. Play Jace. Yeah, we got it. Right? So go to the side. Choose a card you want from outside the game and put it in your hand. Yeah, we got it. That's how you win, right? Enter the Infinite. Cast with Omniscience. One mana. I smell Sunny D on his breath. Put a card from your library on top of your deck. It doesn't matter. We'll put a Bird of Paradise on there. Um, now we go get Mastermind's Acquisition number two. Choose a card you own from outside the game. <clears throat> it's all happening. Jace Wilder. Uh, Jesus Christ, I gotta go like... Cast with Omniscience. Uh, what does it say? If you would draw a card, your library has no cards, so we mill ourselves. Yeah, you gotta mill yourself. Don't mill them. Draw and then win the game. Yeah. Woo! Nailed it. I'd like the Supreme Verdicts in the main deck, I think. At least for this matchup. You know what I'm saying, man? Yee. Did we board anything last game? Is this game... I think you still kind of want Thoughtseize, right? Eh, kind of, maybe? You're not that aggressive. Take Faye out for the side. Can't take one of the Trophy Mages out. Actually, Fatal Push here seems fine. I was wondering why you didn't have some artifacts that are like engineering explosives that you could fetch with a mage. Yeah, it has to be three CMC. Get it together. I'll take one noble out. It's aggressive, but... Oof, I don't like that. 
you know what? I don't like you. So I guess, you know, that's life, you know? Seems bad. Shut up, Michael. I'd rather cut a random thought season than a no Well, it's too bad. We, uh... We started the game, so here we go. Well, here we go. What? What? Why are you like this? Why is anyone like anything? I don't fucking know. I'm gonna get up. Up. Oh, don't have a black source. That's the problem. Don't like that. I want to fix that. Yeah, I assumed I could get one with a windswept teeth. I could use Fabricate, but, like... Blocking's no. pretty cool. Oh, a third windswept teeth with no <laughs> black source. Yikes. Don't like that. I should really have a uh, bayou or a... Uh, you know the one. A bayou. The one that's legal. Put a bayou in the deck. Or a... Godless Shrine. A Goblin Shrine? Yeah, a Goblin Shrine. I love a Goblin Shrine. I'm going to put my Thalia into play. I bet they are going to put their Thalia into play. Also, shouldn't we just change the basics into things we can fetch? Okay, I was really worried about... Uh... I was worried about Lena and Arbor there for a second, so... Oh, we're fashionably late to the party over oh. here. Doesn't make black man. Yeah. What is this you're gonna do here? Cat Octig. Oh, oh, that's 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 problematic. Fabricate would allow you to search other command. Yeah, right, for sure. But it doesn't give you the. I don't know. It doesn't give you the body. I guess. I actually think we cannot beat that deck. That card. Cat Octig. We got a mm -hmm. fatal push in here. Didn't we board him out? No, we have one. That does, a we took them out of the main deck, so we didn't board them out or anything. But. We also have one in the main deck, Michael. So you're saying there's a chance. I am indeed saying. Yeah, I still need black mana. Oh, there you go. There's black mana, Michael. Well, there's half the problem fixed. Black mana more than meets the eye. Sword path. Don't care about path. Flicker wisp, flicker wisp. Don't care. I guess we're just getting rid of Knight of Autumn here. It's the only thing that shakes our turkey. <laughs> <coughs> hey, man, tell me all the things that shake your turkey. If you know what I mean. I don't. No one does. Yeah, Cube's down, unfortunately. Cube has been down since yesterday. Caddick Teague's a real son of a bitch. I mean... This whole deck is just annoying. This deck is just literally called... You should just call it annoying.deck. Because, like, all it does is try to annoy you. And slowly kill you. Well, I guess not that slowly, but... Three, four, five, we take seven, go to two. Oh, I guess we have to block the something because they're going to... So three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're just dead. Yeah, we're just stone dead. Yep, cool. Awesome. <clears throat> I don't know. All right, so... I just don't think Welding Jar is that great. Is Fabricate better? Yeah. The upside is that we can go get Engineer Explosive, which seems actually pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. Is it better? Is it really? I mean, it answers a lot of our problems. Is there anything else that lets us get? I mean, Gadok Teague was annoying, but the problem was that we just couldn't we couldn't flesh out our combo quick enough. So, I don't know, Dad. Is 
Is Cube done now? Yes, Cube has been done for two days. Discard two cards. Choose a non-creature card from this. <coughs> why this? Why Shut one of these over Mastermind? Happy belated birthday! Did Frank take you for a ride on the rat train? Michael, Michael is the rat train conductor. Actually, I wonder why the fail wishes. I guess it can block randomly. I guess it seems random though. Acquisition is probably just better, right? Acquisition? Oh yeah, I agree. But is there an explorer deck in modern playing? I mean, like. I'm sure that's a thing you could do. I don't know why you'd play Explorer and, and Gross Spiral in Modern, though. Like, there's so many better options. Like, <clears throat> hmm. Three slots. Maybe it's just fate. Maybe the fatal pushes were fine. Hmm. So, like, one engineer explosives. Me likey. Me likey breadsticks. Any good draw spells in this format? Yeah. Kozilek. Dummy. <laughs> okay. What about like a... Oh, I do want an overgrown tomb over like a windswept heath. Why don't I just cut a basic for it? Because we want to have five basics. Why? Just because if someone passes us, we want to be able to get the basic we need. Okay. Also, I just, I mean, like, because you, you can get them with uh, Winds of Teeth, you can get them with Blue Delta, like, you don't want to, I mean, I don't want to take infinite damage, man, like. The three mana Converge spell? I don't, I don't even know what that is. Be more specific. <laughs> just say the name of the card. Three mana Converge, draw three. Oh, Painful Truths? Is that what you're talking about? I don't know what Converge is, but I think that's what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not going to name the card. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to add, draw three. The problem with... I don't want to take three damage in this deck well, at all. I'd rather just use Thirst for Knowledge. I think Thirst for Knowledge is like infinitely better than Painful Truths in this deck. Also, Painful Truths is awkward because with Omniscience, you can't actually draw with it because you're not paying You're not paying any... Right. Right. So it's bad. Also, Thirst is better because you have infinite artifacts that you don't mind discarding. Maybe you should run Thirst. Maybe you should shut up. I don't know what you cut for it, but... Because that's the problem. Like, you don't want to dilute the combo too much. Is it better to cut the like, birds and try to be slower and more card advantage? Nah, that's probably not good. I think if that's the case, like, you're just way too slow. Yeah. True that. Factor Fiction legal? Yeah, it was reprinted in Modern Horizons. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Dude, we're getting like, these, these draws are fucking terrible. Let's hope we don't die. Yeah, not blocking that yet. They didn't even pump it. Amateurs. They're going to play their Blighted Agent. It's your boy. Well, that does get us Suns. The problem is we can't cast it this turn. And next turn, like, we can't... Go get Explosives. I mean, that doesn't do much either. Like, we got to put it on one or the other, and then they just kill us with the other. So it's like, I'd rather just try to, that. I'd rather just try to get the combo that we're playing to to get. Could also just get uh, Pentad Prison. One, two, three, one, two. Because like, if we just naturally top deck a fist, we get to play it next turn. The other problem is like. Our plan is to what next turn play fist and then 
give them another turn? Yes, but that's all we can do. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, like, I'm working with the plan I have. Cause it's like, better. Because, like, the alternative is what we get an explain. <laughs> engine explosives. Put on two, kill Blighted Agent, and then, like, spend the rest of the game chump blocking this guy. Yeah, it's not good either. I don't know, man. Well, I'm not asking you. I'm just trying to figure it out. I played this. Yeah, I'm just going to go Pentad because <laughs> I think us top decking um, <coughs> Fist of the Suns here is just a better alternative. Like, it's just, it gives us more of a chance than having to, like, untap, play Fist of the Suns, give them another turn. Like, at least, like, we're probably dead in two turns anyway. <coughs> Please stop dying. Well, we could definitely die this turn, but there's nothing we can do about that. so in good luck when you're playing fucking infect like just god just die bring in all of these things <coughs> you doing okay man yeah you sound like shit you sound like shit why cause you just do okay huh good one I'm just getting discouraged because, like, we're just... I mean, like, I feel like if we can get better draws, like, we're just... We'll do fine, but... I mean, we're, like... We're Ancient Stirring and hitting one land when we need an artifact. We're Ancient Stirring and hitting two Fist of Suns when we need, like... A land. Like... I felt that I haven't done this for some time, so I kind of feel like I should put out a rhyme. You have moved but kept your mic B, and this stream is still the best stream you can see. No stream has more clips or memes that brings you joy and keeps season turns Frank into a little boy. Oh, that's inappropriate. So to Hunter, Mike B, Frank, and this amazing chat, you're all amazing like a train with a rat. Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> Michael, have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? Like it's a privilege? A couple times. Michael B, I'm glad we're friends. <laughs> uh, all right, this is it. This is our game. Keep it. Snap, keep it. I'm just going to naturally cast this fucking this Ugin. My school just got word that our campus is closed for the rest of the school year. I still get to see my students in Zoom. <clears throat> but I'm sad I won't get to see them in person again until maybe next year when they're in sick. That, that's... Jesus, man. Coronavirus is no joke. That's crazy. You're crazy. Really? Yeah. Dang. I mean, let me get one orange. I'm not going to pick out one orange. I'm just saying next time you go for some. Oh, my God. <laughs> if you see an orange, <laughs> let me know. Pick out one orange one for me. I don't really like candy, but I love cuppy. I do love cuppy cakes. <laughs> well, all right then. What's the holdup here? Did you guys see the pangolin card? Pangolin, Michael? It's a real animal. What's a pangolin? Oh Jesus Christ! Well, show I me the card. I don't care about the animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! I'll see the card and then I'll know what the animal is. I feel like this, the public school system really failed Michael and I'm picking up a lot of the slack. Oh, was there a, a part of schooling where they went over the pangolian? 
Why do I keep calling it Pangolian? It's a pangolin. It's a real animal in the world. I'm gonna skip that day. Oh yeah, you skipped <laughs> pangolin class? What's what's going on right now? Am I taking so long? Oh, I'm pretty sure I, I I I don't think I think there's very conflicting stories about whether a pangolin started uh, the coronavirus. I'm pretty sure I, I the, what I've heard was a bat, so I'm not sure um, there's any accuracy to a pangolin. Frank and Mike, which movies would you say is your go-to movies? Like when you're sick or a movie you can watch. I anything? feel like I've asked that. I feel like I've asked. I don't I don't really go to movies. I just watch TV shows. Yeah, same. Plus, I feel like. It's rare I want to watch a movie a second time. Like, I'd rather just experience a new movie. Yeah, movies are too long to just, like... Oh, they lost the connection. Wow. You should do a Kerwit draft where you pretend to be Kerwit and make the picks. Why can't we just do you make the picks? Why don't I just call you and you can... Yeah, you can do the picks. They're going to apologize for disconnecting, but in, uh, in actuality, they should apologize for playing Infect. You know what, man? What, man? Show me a pan goblin. No, you didn't want to see it. <laughs> Fuck you. Live your uneducated life. I'll look it up on my phone. Oh, good. You want even you a pangol pang pangololion, whatever you called it, whatever nonsense you said. <clears throat> One theory was a transfer from bat to a pangolin to a part. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it matters. Like, it's it's pretty irrelevant. If this guy times all the way out, you have a chance. I'm waiting. I mean, I don't hate this hand because they have, like, no disruption. Oh, those little cuties? I do know. I've seen, I've seen them before. Oh, yeah. He's seen them before. Although he had no idea how to pronounce the name. Even after I re even after I said it, he had no idea. I don't process information well. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very honest statement. Things go in, they come out. Yeah, that's a story me and your mother. I saw like really bad with names. Oh yeah? What's yeah. my name? Uh Got him. Oof. Sorry, bud. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Michael B. Platypus. Is that his name? What did you call it? Pangolian? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, I Pangolian. Had an, I had an eye, as I just want to do. Hey man, what's for food? Something tasty. No, I want something disgusting. I want you to I want to just pour dirt in my mouth, Michael. So Subway? God damn. Super Fritz is in the chat, dude. <laughs> <coughs> I can love him but still hate Subway. I don't think so, man. I think they're one and the same. I thought they were separate. No. That was your first mistake. Pangolians from Pangolia. They started the Silk Road. <laughs> None of this sounds real anymore. I stopped ordering food two weeks ago. Too scared of Really? No, I'll still order food. They'll leave it at the doorstep. I'll pick it up, bring it in my house. Lol, I am Subway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been two... Kurt, what's your... What's been your... In, your uh, I think our opponent actually is going to... Is going to time out here. Kurt, what's been your... Inspiration for quitting caffeine. Yeah, I think instead of quitting caffeine, you could also just cut back on it. Like, I think you're like, oh, two oranges. You must be rich. I want to make drinking him out of this. One of the things will be whenever Frank and Mike ask what's for food, take a shot. <laughs> oh, you'll be dead. Oh, look, they did it. Curiosity. Hmm. Interesting. What are you curious about? Whether you could survive, I want to see if I can. I can feel see if I can make it. Oh, okay, I knew they were gonna apologize. I should be like, you should apologize for playing infect, like a filthy 
casual. Oh, we just had subs, so that's out. Now I'll get Jersey Mike's. I don't know if you're joking, but I'd be down for that. You just said you were that you said it was out. Well, I figured you wouldn't want to. Well, way to assume. Looks like made an ass out of you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I was going to choke on your fucking Mike and Ike. Yeah, I don't care about that. Because even though I just had a sandwich yesterday, it didn't fulfill that, like... Sandwi- it doesn't fulfill my sandwich needs. The desire of that kind of sub. Right, because it wasn't. It, it was, was like, like a hot... Yeah, it was different. It was a hot Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a little hot... I'm still kind of craving that club sub, you know what I'm saying? Mike wants that club sub. Yeah, the one that comes with turkey, roast beef, and bacon. It's real good. I don't know. That's not a club, Michael. A club has ham, bacon, and, and turkey. They call it something club. I forget what it's called. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, I don't think so. Also, I didn't like how you couldn't customize the cheese. Well, it's it's a Philly, man. It comes American. What do you want? Just deal with it. Suck on them eggs. No, mine came with Swiss. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry, Swiss man. I would have preferred provolone. I would have preferred provolone. I bet if you, like, called them, you could probably just get provolone. Yeah, give them a ring. Ring them up. <clears throat> Look at this. Guy's getting in there for two. Okay, we're going to have seven mana next turn. That's actually real close to Eugene. I don't even think Kuro drinks coffee. I think he's just straight energy drinks. I don't think Kerwood is human. I think he's actually a machine <laughs> made of robot parts. Okay, 6-4. That's a 6-4, good buddy. There's a bottomless sandwich hole in Mike B's soul. Wow. Put a little birdhouse in your soul. Not if a tube find a point on it. Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet. They didn't have another pump spell? That's fascinating. My problem with Subway is really just the quality of the meat. I feel like it's also too academic. They're like three tomato slices, four cheese squares. And you're just like, well... We really need to draw something here. That's good. What? Oh, God. That's frustrating. How much mana we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to cost, what, eight total for... Oh, okay. Literally... No, I didn't... I didn't have a Philly with Swiss on it. It was a... Uh, it was like a pastrami Reuben sub kind of thing. Pastrami Reuben sub kind of thing. <laughs> All right, so here's... Um, our cheese comes in triangles, thank you. <laughs> it does come in triangles, he's right. Four tri cheese triangles. Yeah, that's cool. Fun games. I'm glad I'm glad we had a good, fun match. Okay, so we're o I think we're 0-2 or 0-3 with this deck. I'm not really... It's going bad. It's going bad. I'm not liking it so far. Somehow I'm liking the deck. I'm just not liking our results here. It's a cool idea, but... Is there any way to get Omniscience into your <coughs> friggin' hand? I think instead of Fabricates, we literally just... Oh, please fucking stop, Magic Online. Oh my god, dude. Idyllic Tutor? Oh god. No, we're not gonna play that bullshit. We're just gonna play fucking Thirst for Knowledge here. Yeah, it might be better. Discard an artifact, discard enchantment. Definitely want an artifact here. Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet. Put a little. I'm just going to take fatal pushes out. Like, I just keep going back and forth because I'm like. Let's put the fourth. Yeah, like, if our plan goes well, we should be fast enough to not care about creatures, right? Right. That's the, that's the goal. Also, we can cut engineer explosives too because we're not playing fat yeah. market anymore. For thirst, I feel like it just makes it more consistent. It's just too expensive, though. Like you don't want to always be thirsting on four or on three. Well, in theory, you do it on turn two with Noble or Birdie. <clears throat> well, ideally, you play Fist on three or on two. Yes, but you know that don't always happen. Playing more ramp, like, I mean, but when do you cast it is the problem. Like, you, you Pentad Prism on two is good. But, like, we already have four birds, three nobles, and four Pentad Prisms. Like, I don't know how much more we can have. That's 11 sources of, of ramp. 
Also, I don't know why we're not just playing like an Emrakul, just the Fist of the Sun's an Emrakul. Also, we have like, if if we have Omniscience in the deck and we're trying to play Kozlek off of Omniscience, like, don't we just want to play Emrakul instead? Well, the drawing cards is kind of the relevant part, right? Because you get to refill and hit your... But what uh, if I'm just hitting fucking Emrakul and I'm just casting it? <laughs> like, that seems better on every metric, right? If I have Omniscience and I'm playing a free creature, if I play this or oh, this... Oh, I forgot Emrakul was legal in this format. Well, yeah. Why else would I say it? Like, I'd almost rather untap Go Fist of the Suns into Emrakul than, like, Kozilek here. So I think we're just going to play two Emrakuls. 2-2 two, two split? Yeah, I think, I think that's fine. This deck needs channel. Boy, doesn't it. Hedron Archive. That's too slow, man. Hedron Archive? It doesn't tap for colors. That's, that's Like, it just doesn't do anything because, like... Heatron Archive is like actually actively bad for our deck because we can't cast our Fist of the Sun spells for five mana. It's also real slow. I will keep this. This is not Pioneer. This is Modern. Yeah. Hence why all these Dark Steel and 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 Fetch lands are legal. You don't got any Fetch lands in your hands, bro. I I know, but shut bro. up, bro. Bro, listen. And, birds and Birds is, of Paradise. Legal, right? Yeah, right. Like <laughs> none of these cards are legal in Omniscience. Like none of these cards are Pioneer legal. Omniscience ain't illegal either? I don't think so. Oh, wow. They just lightning bolted my bird. What an actual dirt bag. What a scum bucket. Lord dirt bags. Banana. Put a little bird bag in your soul. Not to put too fine a mic on it. Say I'm the only mic in your arm on it. Put a little mic. Oh, not this piece of shit again. <laughs> All the kids want to play the Saffron Olive deck. They really do, man. Saffron Olive's like something else, man. I don't understand how they come up with the like, the, the Oh, that's what we wanted. That's real good. So we're going to Fist here, and then next turn we're going to place Omniscience into Ugin. Unless they, you know, make that's us... That's the dream. That's the dream, unless they make us discard a whole hand again. Well, in theory, they might make us discard three other random cards. No, they're dead. Oh, yeah, they're dead. I can't even play that for free. Man, what value? White, blue, how about red? Black, green. Shoot him. Because I'm pretty sure this deck has no way to deal with Nugan. I agree. Omni was an M19? Dang it. All right, that's legal in Pioneer. You got me. And they had nothing? We don't have anything either, so that's... You know, except for an Ugin. His name is Eugene. In death, Eugene has a name. <laughs> oh yeah this guy I mean I'll just take 13 I guess oh no we did oh Jesus Christ that was fun so again I'm gonna say Ugin is just worse than any of these <laughs> other options like, I think this deck just wants four Emrakuls. You might be right. I also think Supreme Verdict is good here. Take out one Mastermind, take out one Thirst. Yeah, again. Don't actually do that much. Yeah, alright. This wouldn't happen in Pioneer. <laughs> oh. That card seems real strong. Which one? Just let you get back any. I don't know what you're saying. Enchantment from the yard. Well, all the auras. 
But it also requires you to play auras. So, you know, there's that. What a sucker. What are you saying about Gristlebrand over here? Thanos out that squid mama. <laughs> I'm trying, dude. I just think Fist of the Suns is great, like, to, to, to shit in. Shit in. <laughs> Why was that so what? funny? To shit in an Emrakul. Oh, give me that fist. I love a good fist, Michael. I love a good fist. It's like my favorite fist. What does that mean? That's my favorite fist. What does that mean? Who has a favorite fist? Who has that? Some do. Some don't. Crystal Brand instead of Kozlek is just worse, though, because, like, is you have to pay seven life for the same ability, right? Like, you draw seven, but... Okay. I guess we're just playing Fist of the Suns here. Fist hole, son. I mean, Kozlek is drawing the cards for free. Won't you come? I'll just take a regular land. I don't care about that. One, two, three. So now, anything we draw here... Hey, who's eating over there? He can eat. Oh, fucking crying out loud. Okay, so here's the funny thing. If we're not going to do anything with the mana... Let's get a planes here. We can actually play this with fist mana and get five counters on it. Uh, let's go red. One, two, three, and black. <laughs> fucking pentad prism with five counters go I don't know what this hand is they kept with one land but cool joke's on you buddy Gotti. he well, you can just drag it back oh yeah that's a good one I mean we have five six seven eight nine ten eleven mana on board so we could just literally cast anything they didn't dredge it Dredge it to the... I mean, they also didn't have mana, so, like... I think, they, I think they're more concerned with hitting land drops. Mayhaps. Let's just play a bird, I guess. So next turn, when they get their three-mana guy, and they attack for 15... We can block. Yeah. <clears throat> or I guess it'd be 13, right? Yeah, plus 10, plus 10, and 32. So I guess they're attacking for 13. Look, it's your boy, the literal guy we predicted. I mean, this deck seems cool. I mean, being able to bring out Eldrazi Conscription for this guy seems pretty sick. Little man, will you be quiet? Gah, it's not even time to eat yet. I mean, we've got to stack two things. I guess, like, Mana Confluence, Pentad Prism. Oh my god, please stop, dude. <laughs> Yep, I'll go to two. <coughs> Hope you don't have lightning bolt. Here it is. What the fuck? Why would you do this during my upkeep? <laughs> yeah, why would you waste your what upkeep? A piece, what a BM shitty thing to do. Cool. <laughs> what an so actual old. fucking scum lord. All right, we're definitely putting in four Emrakuls, taking out the Ugin. All right, let's try this one more. Oh, uh, during your upkeep, I'll cast this. Because well, I, I have a counter spell. Also, it's the worst play because you let us untap. So well, if we have a counter spell, it doesn't actually work. Shut up and take my money. Little man, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, little man. Oh, God, you're being so loud, dude. Little man is cursing him out from the other side of the room. Yeah, I don't understand, like... I like when people, like, make bad plays, but they think they're being strategic about it, like... I'll do it during his upkeep, but why, though? Right, like... It's actually 
the worst play. Like, you haven't seen a single counter spell from me, so, like... And even if you did, again, it's better to do it when you're tapped out. And I had one card in hand, so it's like, I don't know what you think it could be. Um, it's close. Yeah, it's not. It is not. It's double Omniscience. Ugh. I guess we can tuck one. I'm going to be honest. I think this deck is sweet. I just... I wish but it was... it also might suck. Well, that's the thing. I don't think those are mutually exclusive. I think you can have sweet decks that aren't great. It's trying to do a real cool thing. Pentad or Fist? Those are what I'm looking for here. I want to be your pent daddy. Intervention don't pet. That. Why? You don't like that, man? No. Oh. How are you cheating things besides Fist? That's it. I'm playing Fist of the Suns. That's the combo. Two Emrakuls in there. Sweet decks that aren't great are my wheelhouse. Me too. Me too. You should play Channel? Man, you guys are actually giving me the solid suggestions. God, why didn't we think of that? I know. It's actually, I feel dumb because like next turn we could actually Seems go... Like a much better card. Yeah, we can go uh, Windswept <clears throat> into Forest and then just play Channel, you know? Yeah. Or maybe we even draw an Emrakul and then we could just play that for Channel. God damn, you're so fucking smart. <laughs> maybe Mox 2? Mox? Oh man, why didn't we think of those? I feel dumb now. Seems like we could go faster, you know? Like it's Ricky like, Bobby, you know? It's like a land, but it's it's like you can play more than one land because it's like a free artifact, you know? You're talking real real, real crazy right now. <laughs> now we want Kozlik or Emrakul? Hmm. Walking on the kitty he cat. Traded one noise for another. Yeah, this cat is like. I'm gonna be rambunctious. Gonna make so much noise. Oh come on. <sighs> this format is so annoying. <laughs> like, God, I remember when I used to love modern. I felt like I could do anything. Now everyone plays all the efficient cards that deal with things. Maybe we'll draw it. Maybe we won't. Don't say that. Why? Because then it'll come true. No. No? Hmm. I guess we'll just play this. And then give it a little black arino. Go pew pew pew. I guess Mantis Rider is the take here. Like otherwise they're just stuck copying their kite sail freebooter. Cool. Top deck of Fist of the Sun. I guess they could just go meddling. Back in my day, you would play Lotus into Channel, then Fireball, but you millennials think you know it all. Wow. <clears throat> that doesn't feel correct. I'm I think I'm older than Kerwit. Cool. Take my Omniscience. Omniscience. Let's take it all. Take everything from me. So we can't Coincidentally, play. humans are also the worst race in real life as well. <laughs> Planes and free booty gone. Oh, now they get the next turn, they can play Meddling Mage and name Emrakul just in case. <laughs> Kurt's <laughs> 65. Wow, that's wild, man. Kurt, you look real good for your age, my dude. Yeah, man. Looking real good. Look at this fat, fat bird. What up, fat bird? 
fat, fat, fat bird. Fat, fat bird, bird, fat, fat bird. Soap and water. <laughs> we were the virus all along. It's not even inaccurate. You got it. I'll name Emrakul because it's the last card you have. Oh, 100%. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'll probably name Fist of the Suns because that at least turns on other parts of our deck. Whereas, like, Emrakul, like, if I can't get Fist of the Suns. Okay, weird choice. Did they name Emrakul? Yeah. What if we just put Through the Breach in the deck as well? Hmm. More Emrakuls in that Through the Breach? Why not? Oh, well, there's four Emrakuls now. No, we didn't make that idea. Yes, I did. Last last round, I did, my dude. I certainly fucking did. Oh, you just kept Borowski. some Hogwarts. Okay. What if we say... Put some Through the Breaches in, right? Uh-huh. And then just made it a Through the Breach deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, the thing is, Michael... Soap and water. Okay. Got him. Did you see me get you? Boy, didn't you. Didn't I? Hmm. I'll take four. I mean, thankfully, based on their, their deck, we really have a lot of time here. Can you shut the fuck? Job! Job! Why is the Through the Breach deck not a thing? Why is it not popular? I don't know. Hi, Hunter. I also might be, maybe we play the other Kozilek as well, because the other Kozilek, it only draws you four cards, but A, that's usually enough, and B, if we are playing through the Breach, that's it's just a better yeah. dude, right? Mm -hmm. Annihilate be good. Annihilate do be good. Guys, we're going to change, we're going to change this whole thing, man. <laughs> I love Omniscience, but... Well, we're keeping the Omniscience. Don't be a dummy. This deck is going to have way too many combos in it. <clears throat> All right, here we go. You ready? If we have more combos, though, we can draw more of them. Okay. Dude, I'm loving the Godzilla crossover. I want to take Thoughtseize out, because... Get out of my life. Your fatal push. Fatal pushine. Mao. What sound does Little Man make? Mao. Where are we eating, man? I don't know, Michael. Maybe we'll go to your mom's house. Do you ever think about that? And you get some Caesar salad and get some fettuccine. Yeah? Would you like that, Michael? That does sound good. But uh, it's kind of a far drive. Well, get in your car. What? That, that's not the problem. The car works just fine. Well, I didn't say it didn't, okay? So I don't know why you're <clears throat> assuming things. <laughs> but you told me to get a new car. No, I said get in the car. Oh, my bad. Uh, Add pizza-flavored combos to... <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't know if I like the Mastermind's Acquisition. Like, what if we're just main decking all of our combos instead of having a sideboard nonsense? Gotta find also, them. Ancient Stirrings gets Emrakul, so mm -hmm. it doesn't even hurt. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Gotta love Reflecting Pool, but just not right now. Um, You know what? This could work. It could work out. I'll, I'll put one of the Supreme boys back. Supreme might just be too hard for this deck to cast. I mean, if you want to make Wolverine mm -hmm. a magic card, that's an alternate art that doesn't actually affect the game in any way except for the people who enjoy it. I'm okay with it. What'd you just see with your fingers? But shoot, like, did it sound like it was, like, walking? <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on with you, man. I think you're... I think Michael's been drinking. <laughs> Pangolian, huh? I didn't want to tell you, but I've been drinking on the job. God, damn. Now I could tell. <clears throat> Mike's always showing up drunk to the meetings. He is. Michael, why are your eyes all red? No, yeah, I can turn off the camera. I don't got to. I don't got to do that. I don't got to do that. Do you even have a camera? I have a phone that has a camera. He's uh, joined my meetings. <laughs> wow, man, way to, way to brag about it. 
I got a phone that has a camera. Well, yeah, Mike, it's 2020. We all got those. I wasn't those. bragging about it. I was just stating how I can have a camera. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Guess we all have cameras. I'm sorry, but only I can have fun and enjoyment. No special cards for anyone but me. Fair. Oh, wait, it isn't fair. It isn't fair! That was time now. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good meme. Michael, I know. Oh, I could he can't stop over there. He was just on the floor. It was like he teleported. <laughs> yeah, it's like I that. I literally just pet him, and then I looked over, and he's like, poof. I'm really torn between wanting a land and wanting a... Fist of the sun. I think I'm leaning towards land here, so. It is kind of weird how technology went from, like, big phones down to really small phones. And now we're back up to bigger phones again. That's because they figured out what to do with the big phones. They're like, wait, what if we have bigger stuff on the big I'm just saying it's kind of interesting. What's interesting about that? Because it, <clears throat> it, it went, woo. Do it again? You know? Woo. Is that what the phones did? <laughs> yeah. Woo. That's Michael's phone technology. God fucking damn it. I'm so tired of Gaddock Teague. <sighs> I'm torn between wanting a bear claw and an elephant ear. I'd go bear claw. I've never played against a Gaddock Teague in my fucking life against in a modern deck, and now I play against two today. That's really annoying. Yeah, I was going to say, like, that's not a common. No, card. I've, not, I've, I've you never played against Gaddock Teague. Now all of a sudden this dude's like M modern MVP. We just need a little more mana. And not for there to be a Gadak Teague on the board. So that's all we need. We might as well concede, right? We can't beat that card. No, dude. We have answers. Don't fucking shut up. Like, stop telling us to concede. There's no benefit to conceding. I guess we have a fatal push. <sighs> and we could also just hard cast Emrakul. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we actually go Fist of the Suns, we can still play Emrakul and Kozilek. Like... Why would we concede? Wait, you're still casting the card though, right? Yeah, non-creature spells. Oh, non-creature. I thought it was just anything for CMC. Wow. This is why you, this is this is this is why. Oh, come on. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. So we get we get basically one turn. Joda is not legal. Right? I don't even know who that is. Does the Jeskai do that lets you pay five to cheat something in? Who? The Jeskai creature. He's a wizard. And you can pay Wooberg. He's, he has Fist of the Sun's ability. Why don't we play Joda in this deck? <clears throat> is he legal? <clears throat> in modern? Yeah. Is the Dominaria card Joda legal in modern? I don't know what set it was from. I didn't know. How old do you think it is? <clears throat> <laughs> How old do you think that card is? The only problem is just like a more expensive, weaker Fist of the Suns, right? More fragile. Right, but if you need it more Fist of the Suns. It can also get lightning bolted, which is kind of rough. So, so can you. You're right. It could happen. Got him. The odds are slim, but it could happen. It's They're high. They're higher than you think. I, no, not really. Yeah, don't go outside. Is it still snowing? I can't um, even tell when it's snowing or not in this state. <clears throat> it's the weirdest situation. Shut up and take my money. Oh, who is it? Uh, in modern? <laughs> oh, boy. They're really going to town here. If we draw Fatal Push, it would be sick because we go Fatal Push this guy, then Supreme Verdict. That would be actually the tits. Fatal Push off the top would be the best. Oh, my God. One time. That's not, that's not it. Yep. Then you can play Elder Army's Call and find Fist or Emrakul. Oh, yeah, because you could find the Jota. 
Well, Ellen Armory's call is not good. Oh, I see, because you're... Yeah, I got you. Oh, no, apparently it's sunny now. 34 and sunny. The snow has subsided. <sighs> okay. We're going back to the drawing board again. Okay, we want old school Kozilek instead of new school Kozilek. You're only drawing four cards. But it's easier to cast because it's ten instead of ten with two colorless. Also, if you have three cards in hand, it does the same thing, so... Right, exactly. Like, I mean, most of the time, four cards <clears throat> is about close to what you're going to be drawing. Take out Masterminds. Put in through the Breach, because now we have six Eldrazi Tardies. boys. I'll just say, if we're going to play it. Yeah, just go ham. Take out one Thought <clears throat> Seize. No, we probably need to change the sideboard, right? Yeah, because we don't need these anymore, because we're not going to go get them. Right. I would actually just put in two more Fatal Pushes. Um, I don't think we're Welding Jarring either. No. Don't like that. No, don't like that. I mean, Supreme Verdict is cute, but like, isn't Damnation just better? Dude, I mean, in a, a deck whole, like... It's a whole lot easier to cast. In a deck like... Well, Wrath of God is even easier to cast. Well, then, then Wrath. I want to do one of each. I'm going to do one Damnation. God, I hope my Wrath of Gods... I don't think they are. Oh, yeah. Nice. Why one of each? Uh, because if they have Meddling Mage and they name one, I can just hope that I hit the other. Okay. That's a fair point. What else do we play against? Fatal Push, just three of... Maybe four Thoughties. Yeah, actually, that's... Yeah, that's not bad. And then one more card. Probably one more, like... Probably one more Wrath of God. Wrath of God's actually easier because we have three Noble Hierarchs. And I'm pretty sure we have more sources of... <coughs> Stop it. I actually like one Wooded Foothills. Maybe yeah, two. We need that. Maybe two Wooded Foothills. Take out one Windswept Heath. Because Wooded Foothills can get Temple Garden, Steam Vents, Overgrown Tomb, and Breeding Pool. It gets four different lands and also gets the red for, for Through the Breach. I also might want another red land. Well, we got Steam Vents and, and Mountain and Four Birds and Pentad Prisms. Like, I think we have enough red sources. Do you want to put in a one black-white lane? Don't we have a Goblet Shrine? Not really. We don't have a Goblet Shrine? No, that's fine. Reflecting <clears throat> Pools and Night <clears throat> Alphons are good. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Two. Uh, Crystal Brandon with one attack isn't in that doesn't actually end the game really. So no, if I'm gonna have if I'm gonna have an mm -hmm. draw if I'm gonna have a thing that I'm gonna cheat into play, I'd rather it be like Emrakul. Um, Mulligan. Okay. Let's get one one ancient stirring is all out of here. Show me what you got. It's just Pentad Prism number two. Yeah, because then we can discard it to Thirst. Why not Cheaty Face? Well, you see, the un unglued and unhinged cards are not legal on Magic Online. Otherwise, we could be sneaking Cheaty Faces in all day. I don't think we've won a match yet, but I've had fun tweaking this deck. So, Isaac, I really hope that's okay with you, my dude. Let's go get a Steam Vents here. Oh, sneak attack. That's actually solid. Yeah, no, I didn't include that. <laughs> yeah. And the channel. We're also forgetting channel as well. We're really done messed up. God, man. We're forgetting all the hits. Sneak attack in this economy? Yeah, five mana perforos can sneak attack, but not any of the creatures that we want. How can we make this safe as possible? Well, you just make it artifact creatures and red creatures. Ooh, show and tell. That seems good. Yeah, that's good too. Let's use all these things. Show and tell, sneak attack, and channel in the same deck.
Oh, we could play Tinga to get the fist. That seems good. <laughs> wow, man, our deck is insane. I'm surprised could I haven't. Be. I'm surprised I haven't made these changes. Yeah, people like that. What? Oh, hey, we got all the pieces. The problem is we don't have the lands. Wait, um, we can play birds another prison. What we can do is go thirst, try to hit a land, play bird. Right? Like, we can do that, right? We can thirst. We can do that. Try to hit a much. land here. A green source would be wonderful. We did it. Discard an artifact. We'll discard Pentad. And also, we have through the breach next turn. Oh, shit. I, oh, God. I played the wrong fucking land. Oops. Now I'm just going to pass because we still have five mana and we can Emrakul them. Yep, I meant to go Mana Confluence Bird. I just hit the wrong button. I actually thought Sneak Attack was legal and modern. No, no, it is not. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd probably see it a lot more frequently in modern decks. Thought Scour. Fascinating. Okay, that's interesting. You like that turn I, I played Mana, I played Bird, and I played instead of Mana Confluence, or uh, didn't, didn't get to play my Bird? Yeah, that was good. I hope, oh, wait, they, no, it wasn't. I hope they tap out for something dumb, but they're just going to keep their, no, they're their mana, keep their mana up. up. Yep. You know how they do. I'll just try to play the birds in this fisty. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Also, let's say, what if we resolve through the breach and get to attack with Emrakul? Mm -hmm. And they go to one and don't concede. <laughs> Then I'll just wait until I draw like Noble Hierarch and attack with the bird. Oh, that resolved? Dude, if we get to untap and just cast this Emrakul, like, it's probably the hottest shit that I've done all day. <laughs> it's, like, unreal, dude. You know you know what Emrakul says? Oh, they're going to Assassin's Trophy? Sure. Cool. Super cool. No, well, there's always next year. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> well, see you next year. You know what it meant. Hey, guys. Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. <laughs> oh, Lord. Michael B. <laughs> Waiting to untap is always the worst. It is the, the best of times. It is the blurst of times. I'm really at a, a situation where I can't... I can't just throw the breach of the Semrakul in. Yeah, there's no way you go for it. There's no way they don't have a counterspell. I mean, we can wait till we get like a... <clears throat> just wait till we can pay 15 mana and then they'll lose. A Thought Seasons. I mean, they have no pressure on us. Boom, 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 boom. They're going to get Cryptic Command. They get Thought Scour back. Interesting. These decks are very strange to me. Yeah, we could do it in their end step, but like I still, I mean, there's no difference between doing it in their end step and our main phase if they're, if they have all their mana untapped. Like, again, it's just one of those plays that like seems like it's really beneficial, but it actually doesn't do anything because like we're still just going to attack with it. And like if they counter it and we get to untap while they're tapped out, like that doesn't do anything if we have nothing to, to tap That's out. That's good if we draw another through the breach. I mean, I probably wouldn't even counter through the breach. I would actually just let it resolve and then tap the Emrakul down so that we lose both. How are they going to tap it? Uh, there's a card called Cryptic Command. It but they can get it back, though. But they could have it in their hand. No, impossible. <laughs> You're only allowed to play one. One, two, power. Because, I mean, right now we can play around Remand, but our, our fear is Cryptic Command, right? Like... Yeah. I mean, do we do it? Like, we can play around our man, right? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Yeah, we... Like, do we just... Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Ba -ba -da -ba -dum -ba -da -dum -ba -dum. Maybe they won't recognize that and they'll just let it resolve. Maybe. They're like, I don't know what that is, so here, you can have it. <laughs> the solid strategy. No, nope, they got it. They never don't have it. I've never seen it. Sure. 
Or that card. Yep, that's a good one. God. I remember the days when they didn't have it and like um I remember the days when they made the biscuits in the morning. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have eleven mana actually. What are they doing right now? They're getting control of our bird? What's even happening right now? Oh, this guy. <laughs> oh, man, I literally just got a YouTube comment. I feel like you were the most unlucky guy ever. Feels bad, man. Yeah. They well, didn't have an extra land. Hmm. Not that it's going to matter, but, you know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana, dude. Three more mana. I'm waiting. And they're just dead. You know, except for the Crypto Command play. <coughs> Stop milling yourself. Oh, they milled us this time. Thoughtseize and Pentad Prism. Funny enough, that Pentad Prism would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 mana. Oh, they're one, one to us, one to, one to you, huh? That's a... Really weird distinction, but... Consistent, good strategy. Yeah, I'm like, eh, it's, it's really, uh... It's really half of one, six doesn't have another. Six, yeah, this game six of one. To drawing? What's happening right now? What is this white... What is this blue, blue, black, green spell? Oh, they're gonna make another green, and they're just gonna cast their Euro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kozilek, see, now we can actually cast the Kozilek, whereas, like, the previous Kozilek, we could not because we had no colorless mana. Also true. <clears throat> Shut up, man. I will punch you in the face. Okay, so this guy comes down. If we draw through the breach, like, they can't counter it, right? Uh... They can mana leak it. We just recast it. They can have negate, I guess. No, they can't. <sighs> cool. Kozilek. That could be a Kozilek. Or an Emrakul. One, two, three, four, five. It is a fucking Kozilek, my dude. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like it. I'm gonna play noble hierarchy here. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't. Okay, so even if they kill this, like we still have fist into Emrakul next turn. It's a pretty big boy. Assassin's Trophy. Well, just keep getting these basics. They're only making us stronger. The fools. <laughs> she goes right back in, man. You don't even know. Oh, now they're going to get back to cryptic. They're yeah. going to what? They're going to go back to their cryptic. Did they? Okay, mm -hmm. but it's on top. Oh, it doesn't go in their hand. It goes on top. Okay. Wow, this if this land put a fucking card from your graveyard into your hand, it'd be like a four of in every deck. There's no cost. You got to have islands. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Oh, wow. I mean, this is so good. They're really good at this game. We'll just draw. It's fine. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Actually, we have enough mana to do that. We should draw some cards. <clears throat> two, three. Let's get thirsty. 
I'm having a thirst for knowledge. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. Is that so? Oh, good. They have cryptic command. Now oh, archmages. Nope. Never don't have some kind of counter infinite spell. cryptic commands. I'm choosing my modes. It's very hard. <sighs> That's exactly what they're doing. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on right now. I guess they're like, oh, I'll let this resolve and I'll just counter the more relevant spell. I don't know what's going on right now. Yeah, they don't really need to counter this. Oh my god, dude. Fucking Jesus. I mean, they had everything. Like, they had thought seized both times they needed it. Defense grid dun, seems dun, real good dun, here. Dun, dun, dun. Actually, it does seem pretty good. Pretty good. It's insane. Oh, wow. Okay, take it easy, Michael. It makes take their it cards easy. irrelevant. Take, take it easy. It makes all their cards easy. Take it, Michael. Z. Don't make the Michaels in your town. Cut a land. You got time. What if we cut the omniscience and just play... Like, if we have Fist of Sons and we have five mana afterwards... Mm -hmm. Like... We just want to cast these two, right? Like, we could cut the Omniscience, put, like, one Kozilek and three Ulamogs, right? And then we just have, like... And then, like, all the things are good with Through the Breach. Which Ulamog? Well, maybe I just want... I want four Kozileks, I guess. Don't make the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. No, if we're going to go that route, you just want Ulamog. No, but Ulamog attacking doesn't do anything. It has Annihilator 4. No, that's the other Ulamog. That guy cost 11. This guy cost 10. Why would we play that Ulamog over this Kozilek? Because we're cheating in one through the Breachy. They both have Annihilator 4, though. This is a 12-12. That Ulamog's a 10-10. If I'm putting in one creature, I'd rather have a 12-12 with Annihilator 4 than a 10-10 with Annihilator 4, right? It's also got Indestructible if you ever cast it. If I'm casting it, I'd rather draw four cards. It also kills with a permanent. That's why I said I would rather draw four cards than okay. than deal with the permanent. Put in warm coil engine. Mm. Oh, I hate it. Mm. Maybe in the sideboard. <clears throat> <coughs> Shut up. No. Okay, don't. But don't don't come over don't come over and talk to me ever again. I will. Shit. You can't stop me. He's right. You have to kill me first. Yeah, okay, we can we can make that happen. That's fine. Doubt it. Deal. Headways heavy is the crown. Headways heavy is the crown. You can't even you can't even say the fake quote correctly anymore. That was it, right? No, the headways heavy is the crown is not even close. You sure? <laughs> I'm fucking positive. Yes. What was it then? No, I'm not telling you. You don't deserve you don't, it now. You can't remember it either. Don't let the sound of Michael's face drive you crazy. It's so loud every day. I hope we untap into fist. Of, I hope they don't have a. No, mimic. heavy is the head that wears the crown. Is the real quote. I was trying to quote my own mess. Right, up that's that. the correct quote. Mike messed up the quote a long time ago, and he was trying to quote his own mess up. Wait, they didn't... Not only did they not have... What? Hmm. Are we doing it? Are we winning? Is it possible that we could win a game? I mean, I've never heard of such a thing, but... Well, force of... Neg oh, it's resolved. Oh, they're going to tap and go nature's claim. Well, there's Assassin's Trophy. It's That's true. Oh yeah, give me a. I need a trophy. I need a somebody new and a trophy tonight. Do you think you get a trophy? My name's Michael game? B. 
I get a trophy for everything I do, Michael. I'm a millennial, and I need my participation <laughs> trophies. Wait, are they letting us untap? My statement's untrue in so many ways. What's going on here? I'm going to do it at your main draws phase for some reason. This seems absolutely terrible. I, I guess we just get the through the breach then. Unless they have force negation. <clears throat> sure. Uh, let's get a black that we don't have. Breach him and sneech him. Don't forget to attack. <laughs> Solid strategy. I don't know what they could have for this. Well, nothing. He's he's getting the red. She's in the red zone. See you later, all your permanents. Giga Drows. No, Emrakul has protection from colored spells. Are they really going to play it out? I guess so. Let me get that Fist of the Suns, boy. Thanks. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Never didn't have it, you see! Oh yeah, I like Emrakul a lot more in this deck. Omniscience was pretty cute. Because if you play Omniscience, it doesn't do anything on its own. It needs other cards to be good. Emrakul doesn't need shit. Okay, so... Oh, what up, Katie, my love? I was torn between my dear and my love there, so I was like, my little love? Katie, what should we have for dinner tonight? Help us decide. Also, it is 8 o'clock, so a lot of restaurants have closed due to their... Oh, yeah. ...their normal hours. Main? All right, I'll cast with Fist of the Suns. Blue, this, this, red, and white. Oh, it can't be countered. Take an extra turn. Are you done? Let's go to the next game. Frank knows so much about omniscience. It's true. I do like that they played it out. You know what I like? Turtles. I do like turtles. It's true. Is this a five color pile? How dare you? Oh, what time is... What time is Tandori oven open till? Because that sounds like... That's always your answer. Have you ever had it before? It's pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. That's unbelievable. You sound like a you sound like an idiot. Michael, you need Jesus. What is this? Oh, Mike is fading away. Wait, what? Is that a command? I didn't know that was a turtle command. Wow, this hand. Oh, I didn't see the third breach. Actually, I think this is capable. It's rough. Should we keep it? It loses to a counter spell. It's really slow. Let's keep it. Okay. <laughs> what could what could possibly go wrong? Katie, are you sure that's not the are you sure that's the correct hours and not the adjusted hours? Wait. Are you sure that's the correct hours and they don't have adjusted hours is what I meant to say? Whiff. Oh, get whiffed on, my dude. Joke's on you. I got, position I got three nerd. fat Eldrazi's. Let me draw some accelerant. That would be good. Oh, can you top deck? Can we top deck a noble hierarch or a bird? That'd be good. What part of Utah did you move to? I mean, oh, <laughs> yay! Uh, Logan, Utah. It's like North Utah. Oh, they're going to do something else? Sure. Never never don't have those. I have four of those in my deck, too. That would be cool if sure? I could draw them. I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, you just take through the breach. I don't know. Wait, what? Why did you take one of the two? This is all very strange. <laughs> What? That don't make a lick of sense. I tell you what. Oh. Oh. Cool. I still think taking through the breach and doing that to through the breach would have been better because 
Yeah. I mean, unless we draw like, unless we draw fist of the sun, I guess. Yeah, but then we still have to untap and pay five. And... Yeah, but that's still a thing you can do. Hey, free spells. Yeah. They kind of... Ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Like, two life for that effect where you exile cards from the deck? Like, that's so insanely efficient. Hey, man, let me tell you about a little card called Treachery. What about oh, it? It's, it's, real, it's real good. You know, I'm like, just... Is it a card we can play? Treachery? Mm-hmm. You, I mean, you could tap mana for it. I don't know. I mean, it... it I don't, I don't think it's legal in this format. Did it, did it commit a crime? Yeah, big one. Illegal. <clears throat> Katie, can you please check your messages? Oh God, it's probably um, too much bandwidth. Nine, according to DoorDash, is probably correct because they probably stopped taking orders at nine. Oh man, that sounds delicious. Thank you, Garador. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. So demanding. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay. We're doing it. Instead of lands, they just keep hitting thought seasons, I guess. They probably have another uh, extract, so they're going to take. Yep. Yep. They got another one. No, I don't think so. I think they're just get, take, taking all that through the breach targets. Well, now through the breach is actual trash. Unless we draw it. Dang it. it was, there's a chance. There was literal no chance. There was a chance. Two out of 48? Two out of 49? Yeah, that's a chance. What was the inspiration to move to Utah? There was no inspiration. My friend just has a room here that I could live in. So, My inspiration was wanting a, a shelter to live in. At a reasonable price. Right. Oh, it looks like it's my turn. Hey man, we can get there with Noble. You're just gonna. What is this you're doing? Ice Fang Codal. Sure. You got it. <coughs> Another one, Cryptic Command, Arkham's Astrolabe that you can't even cast. That's hilarious. I'll take your Cryptic. Wait, you're in Utah now? Yes, for two months now. So. Now they can block profitably. Well. Nope, they attacked. That is an interesting attack, my friend. I don't get it. He's living with a guy named Logan, Utah. Still in Florida. Easy confusion, that one. Wow. Come on, Kozilek. Second through the breach. Basically the same thing. We're winning this race. Yeah, but not really. Oh, now they figured it out. They're like, wait. Wait a minute. I could not take damage. Watch Noble Hierarch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. How does he do it? Nobody knows. I will play Archmage's Charm, which I have drawn in one of my two cards. Yeah, it's pretty funny. We're going to get an Oyster to Counterspell on a Noble Hierarch. And you gain control of the other one. Oh, you're just gaining control of that one. Okay. Sure. <sighs> I mean, that's probably better, right? Like, you counter one and it leaves me with one Noble Hierarch, or you gain control of one and then leaves me with one Noble Hierarch and you get the other one. So, sweet draw, though. Congratulations. Yep. God, this deck is miserable. <sighs> just, yeah, I think Omniscience just has to go. 
It changes the deck, but it's still a Fist of Suns deck, and it's still... I think we can still call it Infinity Gauntlet. This is going to be a long one, but I'm going to play one more match with this deck. Oh, wow. Katie, you don't have to yell at me. I was trying to find out, Katie. God. Dang it. Yep, look at this guy coming in. Coming in hot. Oh, look, they have Death Touch now because they got to play all of their little shitty <laughs> astrolabes. <laughs> oh, Pentad Prism. What are you laughing at? The world. I'm laughing at the world. I'm going to trigger chat real quick. I'm eating pineapple on... Oh, fucking Christ. Super Fritz, you work at Subway and you're eating pineapple on pizza, man. I don't think... Uh, where the present. <laughs> Dear God. Okay, hold on. Follow your delivery live on a map. Let's find out. Your follow my delivery live map is no longer available. Well, that's cool. Maybe they got too late, so they're like, we're just going to take it back to the house. We're going to take it back to the UPS center. Cool. Yep, get rid of one of those, boys. My birthday is 3rd of June. I was thinking of trying to strain to arrange a deck for my birthday with you, but probably going to have to wait until you settle down from the... Oh, that's true, actually, because... Yeah, I'll, that'll probably be right before I move. I mean, there's always the chance we can draw a Kozilek, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is actually ten mana, so we can just cast it. I guess I can go check. Well, Katie, it's just this in transit. It doesn't say it's been delivered, and it would say it's been delivered. I'm pretty sure going from out for delivery to in transit means that it's it's back. Like they just took it back to the UPS warehouse for the night. Yeah, it probably ain't getting delivered. Yeah, okay. I don't, don't don't bother <clears throat> checking. I'll <clears throat> let you know if it's delivered or not. Don't get cold for no reason. Which Ulamog do you put in? None. You just put in Kozilex. More Kozilex and maybe like two World Spine Worm. At least with the other decks, the games are over faster. Right. And like they were stuck on two mana for ten turns, but they happen to draw three discard spells and mono counter spells. So it's like, okay. I feel like a part of Frank's relationship. Not sure if you have any interest in class, but one of the premier young fucking mono thoughtsies. Oh, it scared me. Young string quartets in the entire world is in residence at the university there in Logan. Really? That's interesting. The Fry Street Quartet. How they're going to Oh, that's awesome. I mean, I don't think anyone's going to any concerts anytime soon. So. Kozilek off the tippity top. That's not it, and it doesn't actually do what we want it to do, because now we're one mana shy. Oh, do you, do you have something? Okay. Uh, put Thoughtseize on top, sure. Oh, do you have Mana Leak? This is cool. You're going to Mana Leak it, and then we're going to have to pay three. Aether Gust. <sighs> I cannot be more done. Uh, by next fall, I will be gone. And I will be in uh, Denver, so. Alright, taking the Omniscience out. Like, Omniscience in hand with nothing else just doesn't do anything. What is World Spine Worm? It's like a 5-5 five five or is it like a 10-10? 15-15. Ten ten? Yeah, two of those... Two more co oh no I don't have two more Kozilex oh because when it dies we'll get all the worm boys yeah <clears throat> are you moving to Denver to be closer to LSV yeah I'm gonna creep out his house every night <laughs> I call it friend goals How much is Kozilek going for on Moto? Probably more than you think. On Moto? Probably not, no. Uh, four, four tickets? I guess that is more than I thought. Oh, two tickets for the MM2 version. That's pretty good. 
Let's find out. 10 mana, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Math rules, good games, man. A little frustrating. Your deck is actually a little frustrating to play against. Not gonna lie. I mean, mono discard and counter spells. Not really, uh... You know. Uh... What this? Not you. I'm like B, are you moving to Denver too? No, I'm moving to the Sun. You can't move to the Sun, Michael. Says you. Oh shit, he's right. I did say that. Which one's cheaper? Oh wow, this one's four. And that's wild. How much is this one? This one's two thirty-four. This one is like. 231 I think 232 alright look at this look at these look at the cost we're paying for these decks man well yeah of course it's a strong deck it's like one of the tier 1 decks I would imagine like I mean that's what happens when you counter everyone's spells and discard all their cards like all right, add one, add one. All right, this is the last match we're going to play. I think we played like six matches with this deck. We're out of fucking play points because we've just lost constantly. So, can I... Where, did we end? I don't... Did we end? Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, what's going on? Uh, this town would be great if actually we, you know, had a green source here. Yeah, that was a tomb. A if, tomb boy. If that was a tomb, I'd snap keep this. Unfortunately... It might still be worth it with Thoughtseize. Any land lets us go to double... Oh... Uh, we're on the draw. Yeah, not I'm that keeping many lands in the deck. There's 22 lands. It's not that many. 21 lands out of 53 cards? Like, that's that's over 33% chance. And we have two steps to do it. Two, two turns to do it. Yeah, but it's you. Wow. I mean, as much as that's true, like... <laughs> fucking Bird of Paradise. Alright. Young Wolf, Wall of Roots, Eldritch Evolution, Court of Calling, Second Aether Vial... Um, I'll just take the Young Wolf because you can cast that next turn. You can't cast Wall of Roots. That's really weird. I, I thought sees the Young Wolf and it feels really weird. Oh, please don't misspell my name when it's literally everywhere, including on Magic Online, in the chat, on the Twitch stream, where my Twitch stream is literally my name. <laughs> Get wrecked. They got me. They got me. Yep, and of course, magic. <sighs> Fucking Christ. You hate to see it. I mean, but I'm used to it. Like, it's not like anything new to me. So. People people spell my name L-A-P-R is such a tilt. Like, it's just my biggest pet peeve. It's La. Poor. I don't get it. Uh, can you explain it? That's fucking hilarious that's, because now that, our Pentad Prism is actual shit. That, that's epic, my dude. Don't even care. Yeah, you just gotta play the birds, obviously. <laughs> Unbelievable. Cycle it. Frankel poor. Mm. Katie, please don't encourage these, these fine folks at home. <laughs> it's actually a Lapouche. I'll fucking destroy you. <laughs> what is happening right now? End of turn, they got Blood Artist out. Okay. If only you could be like the Pharaoh in Yu-Gi-Oh and draw the exact card when you need it. Yeah. No, I'm literally like fucking Reverse Pharaoh. I'm just playing Animal Crossing, don't mind me. It's true. What's even happening right now? They're doing stuff are they kinda I don't know all that really matters is we're not doing anything so oh look Eldritch Revolution I also get my strangle root guys back look at my cute little combo you got it you got it this is the Yawgmoth deck I don't know buddy I just work here Katie, your package has been delivered, Animal Crossing love. 
So go, go get it out of the snow, I guess. Looks like the Ogmoth. Oh, I wonder if it is the Ogmoth deck actually. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. All right, well that's an infinite combo. Is it? Yes. Oh yeah, because they put a neg one in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. That do be an infinite combo. I mean. So go off and get it. <laughs> get your package. All right. I guess we're just going to cut one of these. I don't know. You guys doing okay since everything? I mean, we're doing as good as anyone else, I guess. I still have a source of income, so I feel pretty good. You still have a source of income? Yeah. Good for you, man. Wait. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of people that are in that awkward position, so... Yeah, I just don't think it's cool to brag about it. Like, fucking, like, really, dude? <laughs> you're gonna rub. <laughs> was that a brag? Really, you're gonna rub in people's faces, Michael? Uh, it was a key. I, that's why I kept it. Oh my god, I hate your attitude. You can just take it away, okay, buddy? Where could I put it? Just get it out of here. No, man, I'm good. <laughs> Show the stream at my cute little house. <laughs> okay, hold on. This is the the cute little house that I was just shown. Just so you guys know. It's got a nice garden. This is Katie's cute little Animal Crossing house, so. Thank you. Oh, Smokey Loki with a gifted sub, my dude. I appreciate you. you. Gonna start calling Mike Income Mike. Wow. God, get a little Income Mike over here. <laughs> He's so rich. He is rich. God, I'm glad he got a blue there. I guess it wouldn't matter because he got a bird. So. Right, but if they kill the bird, I want to be able to cast my cards either way. Yes, we will kill the bird. How am I gonna be? Get out of that tree. Hmm. I guess we'll just fist the suns here. Why would he need two undying creatures? You say I get it gets a county. Yeah, I think, oh, yeah, I think you did. do, but yeah, like, I mean, I don't think it matters really. Like, that game was over. They're gonna yeah, draw a lot right. of cards. They kill our noble because they kill our noble hierarchy. They draw a lot of cards. Like, I, I don't, for, I don't foresee us like coming Crawling back. Way back into that yeah, game. I wasn't like we're gonna be way ahead, so I'm gonna just keep playing just in case. Like, yep, that's mm, that's a fun card. That is a fun card. Man, so fun. Land, 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 land. That's not a land at all. It's kind of a land. It's not a land at all. It wants to cast a bird. Sweet Michael Bees. It could have been worse. Name how? You could have drawn... Kozilek. I could have? Yeah. I mean, I got a Fist of the Suns. I really wouldn't mind a Kozilek. I already had a prismatic, a pentad prism. But now you have two. But if I had a Kozilek instead, next turn I could play Kozilek. It's not Thank you. Ourselves. Did, is that... Did, TPO, <coughs> thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Seriously, though, thanks for making content. It's especially appreciated. Yeah, I hear that. I, that's like the tenth time someone said that, which is awesome to hear. Land. It wants to be a land. You hate to see it, Michael. It can get you a land, right? Yeah, but... What good does that fucking do? It's gonna be too little, too late. Oh, look, there's a Kozilek too. Hmm. I'm just gonna take the Kozilek. I like your style. Play this guy. Check on the China, the Chinese chicken. Michael B lives in the garbage can. Every day it's garbage can Michael B. Garbage can Michael B. Ooh. Alexa, where does Michael live? Michael B. 
Alexa, stop. Dang it. It's too quick. Don't try to make her stop telling her truth. <laughs> Let her speak her truth, Michael. Okay, you got another wolf. I'm very curious as to what's happening here. He's going to try to win the game with his two undying creatures. And you know that feeling when you're a kid and you get that game console that you so crave but just seemed unattainable? That's how seeing Frank and Mike and stream together for the first time. Oh my god. No, it's not. You get out of here. That's crazy. Okay, a Strangaroot Geast. I'm going to be honest, I'm really unimpressed with these creatures that are coming down here. Well, he doesn't have a Blood Artist or a Yawgmoth, so... Yawgmoth? Yeah. Who's that? Hey, man, what's Yawgmoth's son's name? Do you know? Crick. <laughs> Is that, isn't that what you get in your neck? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're uh, not wrong, but... Oh, God. Cosmic's actually not even that great here because they just sack like yeah, three undying actually, creatures. Yeah, you don't want that. I guess we'll just cast it naturally. I don't uh, think it's naturally. We'll cast it unnaturally, Michael. Like Thanos would want. Oh, we get to draw cards too. I do like draw. Oh, look, see, if we had other Kozilek, we'd still just draw four cards here, so. Oh, next turn we get to Through the Breach. God damn. We can hit him with the worm. I love hitting him with the worm. Hit him with the worm. Hit hit him with the worm. Does Chad have bets on what this president? No, no one knows. Katie, believe it or not, we have not been talking about your present getting delivered all day. I don't even know what it is. Mike doesn't even know what it is. But that's just because he never graduated high school. What? Huh? Is this some kind of reference I'm not getting? Yeah, I'm referring to your lack of high school degree i have a goddamn high school degree well that's not a real thing it's a high school diploma michael so it's the same you've thing. already disproven that you it's have the that. same thing yeah it's not 100 percent same thing it's not this is where they just go yogmoth and then kill us listen here buddy god they never don't have it i've never seen once no they have to have a blood artist too no can't they just draw infinite cards until they find one and then put it into play with either vial yes okay well but maybe they won't do that i'm pretty sure they're gonna do that they could run out of life. You know, I guess that's true. They could also very slowly kill our Kozilek. Yep. Guess they could do that. It's going to be like the first card they draw anyway, so it doesn't really <laughs> matter. They're just going to be like, in play, one card. God, it's frustrating because it's like, I feel like we've always been so close. And then like, they just have like, oh, I had the exact card that I needed at this moment. And of course, now we have one, two, three, four mana going into the next turn. So we can't actually World Spine Worm. So that's cool. I'm wondering if Pentad Prism is just better as like a Signet or something. Like, just because you're like, I mean, it adds one mana as much as you want rather than two mana once. It allows you to be faster. That's the upside. Oh man, Kozlik has a negative one counter on it. They're gonna shoot him down in his prime. I mean, they're at 10, so, like, if they want to sack 10 more cards to, like... I mean, I feel like they they die, but I'm pretty sure we're dead. really taking their time. It's true. Hurry up, bucko. How do you feel about growing what? your beard for the entire of the quarantine? You know what? Might get on in the two. They passed? What? I mean, Spirit Guide. That's close. I don't know why they don't just go for it. That's weird. Because I think they did it incorrectly. They're supposed to put the counters on their own guys. They might not know how the combo works. They could have still done that. But they didn't, which means I don't know. Because you'd have to sacrifice one of these three. Oh, yeah. They done messed up. You're right. They done goofed. And, like, whichever one they sack isn't coming back because it has a counter on it. Yeah, they done messed up. Well, we're going to annihilate. I mean, they can still do it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because they could sack the one undying to put a counter on. Right, but then they lose their guys. 
They lose one guy, but then they can repeat the loop after with the other guy. They can still do it. Shut up. Michael, they're going to hear you. They could do it right now, but they done messed up. And now I think we might win? No. It's, I mean, they can still... They have one mana, though. Like, And they can't kill us on board. Are they going to Court of Calling for one? Oh, God. What is even happening right now? No, they definitely have cord. Yep. What are they doing? Oh, this is interesting. I don't know what's going on. This is all very strange. You gotta block with this guy too. Oh, okay, they changed their mind. Okay, just this guy. <coughs> I'm so confused. I don't know much, but I know they done messed up. <laughs> you done messed up, A.A. Ron! <laughs> okay, just this guy. That's your final answer. In response... Oh, they didn't cord. Okay. Well, this is all very strange well, they can't to me. cord for Argus. They don't have enough. They could have responded and done it before they annihilate, but they didn't do that either, so I don't, I don't know. Illegal. There's many ways they should and could have won this game. But they chose not to. Because they a knucklehead. <laughs> I played the wrong I played the wrong card, unfortunately. You sure did. I should have played Mana Confluence. That would have been better. I'm just gonna play it next turn. I mean I wanted a thirst here, but Alright. They're at three, four, five, six, seven. We're at fourteen. I think we're okay. Oh, Katie wants me to show the stream the gift I got her, so I'll just show you guys. These Those some, got so many colors. These are some sweet Jordan ones. So. There's at least three colors there. <laughs> That's at least three, uh, no more than seven colors. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I'll take it. So, okay, you're going to... Wait, if they have court, couldn't they also just kill us right now if they didn't do that? What's going on? No, because they only had... No, because this comes into play tapped. So they have one, two, three, four, five things to court. Like, yeah, I guess they... I don't know what's going on, man. Yeah, just tap all the guys' court and, for Blood Artist, sack the plant, put a counter on, and kill us. Michael, just, just, just stop it. I'm just going to throw the breach this world spine worm, okay? They done messed up at least at least four times. At least four, no, ne no less than 15 times. <laughs> There's an amount that's higher than something. Put in the worm. Worm them up. <laughs> that's what your mom said. Put in the worm. <laughs> wow. And I was like, oh, Jesus. Well, I guess we're going to get game three, boys. Oh, yeah. Little baby Jordan. Sometimes comboing is hard. Okay. Hey, listen. Don't you defend my opponent, okay? God, I feel like Wrath of God and Damnation is not great against the... Please stop zooming. Oh, my God, dude. I feel no, like... By the time they have the counters on, it's too late if they... It's too it late! Hmm. This is interesting. Yeah, this, I think is a, it's a keep. this is a snap keep. What are you talking about? We got turn one bird, turn two fist. Then a thought season there somewhere. Somewhere. Who knows when? Yeah, I think Katie and I saw those back in like December. And I was like, oh, these are sweet. I'll get you these for some time. And then like, so I finally able to. <coughs> uh, overgrown? No, we have black sources of plenty. We'll get breeding pool. A plenty. Oh, wow. That lag, though. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, oh. Welcome to Bird Town. Bird Town? Mm hmm. Bird Town. In the middle of... I'm going to just see if I can hit a... 
I might take a turn off from fist because we can't if we go turn three fist turn four we don't get to do anything anyway Pentad prism okay that's actually fine Yep, that's the dude we wanted. No. Also, through the breach, world spine worm is a thing. Let me get three five fives. Did those also have trample? Doesn't matter, Michael. Yes. Yeah, yeah, with trample. They're three five fives with trample. Uh. You're fuck. You're so disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. Okay, so they don't have messenger. Look, it's battery boy. And they don't have that. They have no cards in hand. Okay. Oh wow, they didn't attack with their hasty geist. Alright, well. That's something. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Let's fisty boy. And play Templar, you know. Alright, so three, four, five. If we can survive this turn, I think our odds are good. Also, depending on what they do, the worm could just kill them. Well, they're not going to tap their wall of roots, so... Dang it, you're right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that wall of roots is going to be there no what matter they what. Cord? Huh? Uh, they could cord. I guess they could cord, you're right. What are you doing, Hunts? Hunts McMunts? Hunter's having a good old green screen time. Oh, hi. You are now in between. Did you fix that other side, man? I suppose. That would be nice of you. Yeah, that's weird. They've been playing so sharp up till now. Hunter done messed it up again. Oh, well, they got rid of the wall roots. Oh, they got they got their guy. Well, this I could believe be. believe that is an infinite combo. Shut up. Okay. Uh, Court of Calling for four is pretty good, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-huh. really annoying I don't understand what's going on here again they could cool again we just lose the fucking game because like they drew the like they had they drew they literally had to draw a cord because we did we made them discard so like they, they got to draw a cord and that's why they, they win the game because we don't have a fourth mana can you can, is this me Jesus yep. fucking hunter god I'm just getting real frustrated because it's like they're they're like they don't even understand their combo. Like they're just they could have just win the game. Like yeah, they can but they're just kind of like dirtling around with us and like we like they they still get to draw the perfect card and it's just kind of frustrating. Yeah, they figured it out finally. He's, yeah, zoom in the Yogmoth. There you go. Yeah, this is just frustrating. Like thanks for figured it out. thanks for doing it my the at my end step. Okay, cool. You figured it out. Congratulations. Th third game with my end step. Yeah, all right. Nice. Either way, 05, not great, but I do like the configuration that we're in. Isaac, thank you so much for the for the opportunity to play the deck. Um, while the matches were pretty frustrating, um, I still thought the deck is really cool. And uh, I think instead of Omniscience, which doesn't do anything on its own, it's better to have uh, things like Emrakul and Kozilek, which if you're putting them into play with Fist of Suns, just do so much more work. Um, I think this Kozilek's probably better because Annihilator is just better than not Annihilator. And uh, Through the Breach is a cool addition for the Emrakuls and the World Spine Worms. The problem is, like, Fist of Suns on three still doesn't let you do anything. Like, Fist of Suns is a card where, like, you play it, and not only does it have to stay on the board for one turn, it usually has to stay on the board for two turns, which is yeah, a little bit... Man enough yeah, it. and for some reason we're having trouble hitting lands, even though we have Birds of Paradise and Noble Hierarch. Pentad Prism is definitely a card I would consider switching for something more permanent. Because, like, if you have just, like, a Signet, like, you could just use it every turn, you know? So, like, a Signet, like a black-green or a blue-green Signet would might be better. Yeah, but it's got that problem where, like, if you need this mana, not that mana. Right, for sure. But Pentad has the problem that you get literally one shot at it, so... But, uh, either way, thank you guys for watching, Isaac. Thank you for the opportunity to play the deck. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to have your decks taken a look at by me, we can definitely do that. Just look for the details down below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Check me out at coolstuffinc.com, patreon.com slash franklepoor, manatraders.com, and I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.